In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can create a non-clustered index in a SQL Server table. So here, we have a products table and I've added a column called category. And now I want to index this column. So when we created the primary key or the composite key, it created a clustered index. Now there could be only one clustered index on a table. So the remaining ones, like the other indexes that you create on columns, will be of type non-clustered. Now non-clustered index is basically a data structure that improves the speed of data retrieval from tables. And this basically stores data separately from the data rows in the table. It is a copy of selected columns of data from a table with the links to the associated table. Non-clustered index makes use of the B tree structure to organize its data. So without going into more nitty gritty and the theoretical aspect of it, let's see how we can create one over here. So just go ahead and select the column and right click, choose indexes or keys. And then whatever window opens up there, you need to click on add to add a new index. Here you can give it a name, like I can give it as product category. So this is the name of the index. This is the column on which I want to create the index. So I'll say category and the order is ascending. Click OK. And that is all that I need to do over here. I can say close now. And if I go ahead and generate change script, I'll be presented with a non-clustered index creation script. Here you go. So it says create non-clustered index. Then the name of the index is IX, which is used for index identification. IX underscore. It's not mandatory to have it, but it's just a, or a convention. So we say IX underscore product category on the table name debut.products and then we specify the column. Here it is category with statistics no recompute off, ignore duplicate key off, allow rows locks on, allow page locks on, on primary, go and then this comment. So this is the whole statement that is being generated behind the scenes. And if I go ahead and save this, it will create a non-clustered index on my products table. Now you can go here, refresh this, and then you go to that table products and under indexes you'll find that newly created index and you'll also see that it's a non unique non clustered now you can also create a unique index but then it will require you to have unique values in those columns